it's been three weeks since the symbiote turned up. Not a sign. Not a trace. And people have been disappearing. I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. What the fuck? What the fuck? Buddy, mate, what the fuck is going on? Prove to me that you're a real Jimes. What? Of course I'm a real James. A, a THE real James. Go on. Prove it. If you are who you say you are. If you're iGimes, or Spider Jam, prove it. <sighs> Vichy, to Tibetan Vichy, con con a shiamo, a perfect amicola. Vichy. Alright, you're a Jimes. <sighs> Question is. Where's the regal Jimes? Wait. I am the real James.
target located, 50 clips west, Montalbani. Something just caught my eye. Just looked out the window. And it's gone now, I think. It's flown away. Oh no, not quite. That. I think Pennywise is lurking somewhere. Just flew into the yard. I'd follow it, but it might lead me to Pennywise the Clown, who may be hiding in the basement. Well, it's pointing towards the basement door, so yes, Pennywise is hiding in the basement. Hey, you dirty! What a nice butt! Would you like your boat back? Come on! Take it! Take it, dirty! Take it! Take it! A newspaper is 110 years old. Everybody involved with that newspaper is dead. So where's the logic in charging seven pounds to view one article from that newspaper? It's capitalism. Pure, horrid, nasty capitalism. And that newspaper should be public domain. Which means it should be free to view. But no. It sure is empty in here. Apart from me and some of you shall me. Oh, and Zendaya. And uh, Oscar Isaacs and Jason Momoa and... Um, in March and April of 1912, right, a cinema company is supposed to have shot four films in North Wales. I've just found a newspaper article detailing the filming Now, four of the films, they're mentioned, the names are slightly different, they could be the same, but it mentions a fifth film. Now, all the secondary and primary sources I've found so far, four films, but this one mentions a fifth. Interesting. Right. Okay, this is just a test. Drink of water, Jim. Not done this for a while. Been taking my hibernation break. I must hibernate over winter. Also doesn't help when you're surrounded by douchebags. But anyway, on with the show. Dead boy. Okay, so I've just read the first page. It said that knowing the lottery numbers 
is the same thing as wanting to kill people. No. No, 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 what? No. Just... What kind of bullshit leap of logic is that? I suppose I should read more than the first page, shouldn't I? But if that's the quality... Wow! We're going to be in for a rough ride. First two chapters down. One word. Yikes. So, Reacher, the central character, is a thug who likes the fact that people are scared of him. And the back of the book has a quote saying, he's the sort of hero that all women fall for. So, being a misogynistic thug will get you a girlfriend, apparently. Wow. Oh, and then there's the writing. Which, double yikes, there is mansplaining in the descriptions. It reads like something a child wrote. Well, a child did write it. But um, It's not good so far, but I'm going to persist for a little bit. It might get better, touch wood. His girlfriend calls him by his surname. Does that strike you as a bit weird? I mean, whose girlfriend? Right calls them by their surname unless you're in trouble it doesn't happen does it it's not it's not real you use nicknames or pet names or first names or intimate close names because by its very nature it's a close personal relationship. That said, I can see why these are popular, because they are incredibly easy to read. Although I have to say with this one, I've not got, not got the impetus to pick it up again once I put it down, it's just like, okay, I've read a few pages now, I've read 20 pages, I'll come back to it later, and then I look at it. Nah. I mean, I'm going to persist. I'm going to see how bad it gets towards the end. But, in fact, I'm going to try and see how far I can get through it this weekend. I am about to embark on a journey. But it is raining. I need to collect some things. Important things. It is raining. But these things must be collected. And I am the only one who can collect them. Fuck. <laughs> I just yeah. cold smoke. Yeah. 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 Steam. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be steamed human. Oh, yeah. This is where the cannibal is supposed to be. Clean on it. A bit of salt. <laughs> 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 it's true. <laughs> it's really <laughs> keep scratching. I'd have a whole bit. It's really <laughs> heavy. <laughs> which uh, which model of Lumix is that, by the way? It's really sweet. It's a really old one. It's a G10. Yeah. Can you just turn back around? It's weirdly sweet. What's he doing? He wouldn't be lucky to eat his meat for the rest of it. They seem like getting a good light of tuition from there, yeah? Uh, yeah, actually. I took some shots, it seems to be pretty good on my end as well. Yeah. It's not bread. Oh, great. There's a point where satire starts 
jobs being funny. And that's when reality just takes leave of its senses. A few years ago, my last travel book, I got dive bombed by the RAF. Yes, this is a thing that happened. The RAF, I'm not going into details now, but the RAF dive bombed me. And several other people at the same time as well. But in the book, I joked that Putin had gone full on crazy and started a war. Well, now guess what's happened? I mean, Boris Johnson saying he wanted people to die. Predicted that one, didn't I? Putin going full on Bond villain. I mean, Boris Johnson hasn't destroyed London yet, but I don't know anymore, man. Oh yeah, the curtains broke as well. The railing fell down. Well, I fixed the curtains. They had a stupid uh, pulley system on them, so I basically discarded that because I can't be bothered putting it back up. But it was a two day struggle, well, one and a half days, but I got the curtain rail back up, it's now much nicer, I don't think it was put up right in the first place, but, oh, and I think the curtains may have shrunk in the wash as well, but, ho de ho. Oh no, you're still in the airport. Ah, fuck. Alright, Giants has gone missing. Yes, again. Well, almost. We've got, um, a replacement, but honestly, Mike, you don't want to know. Just need to find Giants somehow. I think he's got the temporal French heart magic time travelling harmonica with him. Right. Yeah. Okay, so how do I track that? Yeah. Go on. What's the code? Why is it always 450? And 1025? What's so special about those numbers? Alright. Okay, I've got it. He's in 1964. Or well, the temporal French harp is. No, mine. I've not got a clue either. To be honest, I lost the plot six months ago. Yeah, when the sock puppets invaded. Alright, so now in our box, something bad will be happening in 1964, so you're gonna need a weapon. It's where this comes in. Standard six shooter. It's also got a camera on the back, so I can see what you're seeing. To activate that, just pull back on the trigger, up there, right? That also loads the weapon, so um, be careful. To deactivate, there's a button just here. Right. Cool. <laughs> this is your standard sidearm. To activate, pull back on the button at the bottom, point, bottom. Good.
This is your transmitter aligned to the Dreamstone, so I can see and hear and communicate with you. And lastly, this. Be fucking careful with it, because we don't want it lost in 1964. Oh fuck. Well look my friend, remember, you're looking for the other giants. He looks exactly like you, but way, 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 way better looking. Okay, see you in a few minutes. I hope. It's probably nothing. Go out into the hall, see what you can see. Right, I don't know if this is interference with the camera that's making it look weird. Or time distortion. James, James, can you hear me, James, James? Oh, shit.